Hi guys, welcome to Samjay Bank Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install Eclipse latest version in Windows. So for this, uh, we are going step by step. So I have uh, mentioned four steps. So we will cover each step one by one so that like you will understand easily how we can install the latest version of Eclipse. So first step is uh, like a download and install latest version of Java or JDK. So that is uh, like uh, java 18 version is available so we can download and install java 18 then we can set the java home path into environmental variable so that our from our eclipse we can able to run easily uh, all the java programs with java 18 version then we will download and install the latest version of eclipse ide that is available in 2022 and we will cover the sample program uh, into the eclipse uh, running the sample java program Google and uh, type Java latest version. Okay, so go to Oracle site. Okay, so what's new? So Java 18 is the latest version. So go to download section. Okay, so it is saying Java 17 and 18 available now. So here uh, Java 18 development kit. 18.0.2 okay so go to windows here you can see win, uh, x64 installer so it is 153 mb so download it okay it's downloaded now just click on it to install okay go to download section uh, you will find the exe so double click on exe okay so it is saying welcome to installation wizard of jdk18 so just say next give the default path just copy this path we need this next okay so our uh, jdk18 is successfully installed so click on close and now let's uh, we have to set the environmental variable in order to set the java home so go to env type env in the windows system so it is saying edit system environmental variable so let's open and go to system environmental variables then on uh, system variables choose the path and double click on it and say new and just paste it whatever you have copied and say bin okay say enter okay so click on ok now one more thing we have to set the java home also so my previous java home is like 1.8 so you need to edit it so just change the variable value with jdk18 installation directory okay let's say okay now okay and this also okay now now go to command prompt again okay now type java minus version okay so you can see java version is 18 uh, 2022 19 7 so and uh, <coughs> it's a sub version 18.0.2 which is like uh, released on 19 july so our java version is now 18 so we have completed uh, two steps so now uh, we will go for uh, download and install uh, the eclipse latest version so for that uh, go to browser and uh, type download eclipse so go to first link here uh, you can see you can when you scroll up scroll down uh, so you can see get eclipse id for 2022 06 so this is the latest version available so for windows windows 64 bit as well as 32 bit so let's say download downloading it started so our eclipse is downloaded so just go to downloaded folder and uh, double click on it Okay, so our Eclipse installation is started. 
okay and now it is giving different different options or different different languages for uh, this id is uh, like uh, integrated with uh, all types of uh, languages like one is for java then we have for java uh, enterprise or web application related id so here like uh, you can develop uh, servlets jsps and uh, starts applications even type scripts then uh, this is the like c++ uh, id then php and uh, there are lots of uh, options available but currently we are focusing on basically uh, eclipse id for java developer so select it and it is looking for java 11 plus vm so just give the latest version of eclipse so that is uh, 18.0.2 that we already installed so click on ok then create menu entry create desktop and say install accept okay so now it is installing so this need uh, like internet uh, to be connected so that like it will install uh, the all the latest packages from the internet also okay so our eclipse id for java developers is installed so now let's say launch yeah so it is uh, coming up with a new dialog box it is 2022-06 Eclipse ID. Okay, so it is asking for uh, selecting the workspace. So for this, like a uh, better way, like uh, we can create our customized workspace directory, so that like all our uh, projects are to be saved into this directory. So uh, I'm uh, giving this as on the C drive. It should uh, it should save all this project into Eclipse workspace. Okay, and say launch. okay so <clears throat> our eclipse id dashboard is uh, here so it is saying that welcome to the eclipse id for java developers so it is giving some samples also then uh, tutorials also and here like it is giving option to create hello world application and create new java project okay so our eclipse installation is complete so now uh, we will go to step four that is running the sample java program so for this like uh, you can create the sample java application from create java projects also or uh, basically you have to go to file new and say java project or go to others and type java here so here it is coming as a java project say next so give the project name so my project will be hello java okay so use execution environment that is java 18 and uh, yeah so say next say finish okay so our project is created hello java so it is created one src directory so it is referring to java 18 so inside the src right click and say create new class okay so give class name same as a project name hello java and then here you have to give the package name also okay so give package name as a com dot demo okay so now uh, which method it need to be create so we need main method in order to print our print statement okay so select this checkbox and say finish yeah so basically it is created class so now just verify it by using adding in the print statement so i'm writing sys out and say control space and give some statement so i'm printing hello java 18 and eclipse id 2022 okay so right click on this class file and say run a java application yeah here we go so by using jdk 18 so we can we can able to run this program hello java 18 and eclipse id 2022.06 so this way like uh, we can uh, install the eclipse uh, latest version so that is uh, 2022.06 onto windows system and uh, stay tuned for uh, further videos thanks a lot for watching